You know it as the world's most famous soft drink, but what you may not know is that Coca-Cola has a dark and disturbing past. Ever wondered why Coke used to contain actual cocaine? Or how it became an international icon? Today, we're diving into a topic that's been bubbling beneath the surface for decades. The disturbing history of Coca-Cola. From its origins as a patent medicine containing cocaine to its role in the Cold War, Coca-Cola has been involved in some of the most controversial events of the past century. Stick around as we unravel the secrets behind that iconic red can, the cocaine connection. So, let's delve deeper into Coca-Cola's early days. The story begins with John S. Pemberton, a pharmacist who concocted the original Coca-Cola recipe. Back in the 1880s, Pemberton combined coca leaf extract with cola nut extract, creating a unique and, well, stimulating beverage. The coca leaf extract contained traces of cocaine, which, believe it or not, wasn't considered as controversial back then as it is now. Imagine sitting at an old-fashioned soda fountain, ordering a Coca-Cola, and enjoying the invigorating effects it offered. It wasn't about the flavor alone, it was about the experience. But, as you can guess, this recipe raised eyebrows sooner or later. Coca-Cola was initially marketed as a brain tonics and even as a cure for ailments like headaches and fatigue. It was seen as a remedy, much like many tonics of that era. This magical elixir was even endorsed by celebrities and doctors, giving it a certain level of credibility. You could say Coca-Cola was a real celebrity back in its own day, getting endorsements from prominent figures, including medical professionals. But as the years went by, attitudes towards cocaine shifted and concerns began to rise. By the early 20th century, the negative effects of cocaine were becoming more apparent, leading to greater scrutiny and legal restrictions. The Pure Food and Drug Act of 1906 required companies to list the ingredients of their products on labels, and this marked the beginning of changes for Coca-Cola. So you see, that seemingly innocent sip of early Coca-Cola wasn't just about refreshment. It was about a whole cultural era with its own norms and beliefs. The cocaine connection might seem disturbing to us now, but it's a fascinating glimpse into a bygone era that has shaped the beverage industry as we know it. Next time you twist open a bottle of Coca-Cola, remember that history isn't always black and white. Sometimes it's a bubbly mix of flavors, ideas, and yes, even a touch of the unexpected. The Cola Wars. Let's pop open the time capsule and take a look at this epic rivalry that left an indelible mark on pop culture. The Cola Wars began in the late 1970s and carried on through the 1980s. Both companies were determined to outdo each other, and they pulled no punches in their marketing strategies. Remember those iconic blind taste test commercials? Pepsi challenges anyone? Consumers were asked to try both colas without knowing which was which, and often, Pepsi would come out on top in terms of preference. So there you are, standing in a supermarket aisle, sipping from two different cups, trying to distinguish the subtle differences in taste. It was a marketing ploy that caught people's attention and challenged their loyalty to a particular brand. But the Cola Wars were more than just taste tests. Both companies utilized celebrity endorsements to gain an edge. From Michael Jackson's hair catching fire during a Pepsi commercial shoot to Coke's collaborations with legendary figures like Santa Claus, these marketing campaigns became cultural touchstones. These ads were more than just advertisements. They were many pop culture phenomena. They turn the brands into icons, making you feel like a part of something bigger when you choose one over the other. But here's where things got even more interesting. In 1985, Coca-Cola decided to revamp its formula and introduce new Cokes. The company claimed that this new formula would have a smooth taste, closer to its rival, Pepsi. However, the public's reaction was nothing short of a tidal wave of disappointment and outrage. People were so attached to the original Coca-Cola taste that they felt like a part of their identity was being altered. Protests, petitions, and even people hoarding original Coke cons, it was a consumer revolt. So, what did Coca-Cola do? They listened. The outcry was so massive that they reintroduced the original formula as his Coca-Cola Classic. This move was a lesson in the power of brand loyalty and how people can forge strong emotional connections with everyday products. International Entry Think about it. Whether you're in New York City or a remote village in Africa, you're likely to find a Coca-Cola bottle. 
But how did this carbonated concoction become such a universal presence? Coca-Cola's international expansion took off in the mid-20th century, driven by a combination of clever marketing and strategic partnership. The company embraced local cultures while maintaining its signature branding. And that's a tightrope walk that's not always easy to achieve. Imagine this scenario. You're in a foreign country, and you're handed a bottle of Coca-Cola. But as you take a sip, you notice something different. That's because Coca-Cola actually adapts its flavor slightly to suit local preferences. For example, in China, Coca-Cola initially struggled to gain traction due to its unfamiliar taste. So, the company reformulated the recipe to be less sweet and more tea-like, aligning it better with Chinese palate. It's fascinating how a beverage can go through a cultural makeover to fit in. But it's not all fizzy celebrations around the world. Coca-Cola has faced its fair share of controversies in various regions. Accusations of depleting water resources in India, allegations of exploiting labor in Latin America, these are just some of the serious challenges the company has had to address. Protests, boycotts, and calls for accountability. Coca-Cola has had to navigate through these waters, learning that a global brand comes with global responsibility. Sustainability struggles. Picture this. Plastic bottles, one of the most ubiquitous symbols of modern life. But with convenience comes consequences. Coca-Cola, like many other beverage companies, faced criticism for its contribution to plastic waste. Plastic pollution is a global crisis, and companies are being held accountable for their role in it. Coca-Cola recognized this and pledged to use 50% recycled material in its plastic bottles by 2030. It's a step in the right direction, but the challenge is enormous. Next time you sip from a plastic Coca-Cola bottle, consider the impact of your choice. Can you opt for a reusable bottle instead? Small changes can ripple into big impacts. And then there's the matter of water usage. Coca-Cola's bottling plants require vast amounts of water, which can be problematic in regions already struggling with water scarcity. Accusations of excessive water consumption have led to protests and boycotts in some areas. Coca-Cola has acknowledged these concerns and has taken steps to address them. The company has invested in water replenishment projects, aiming to return as much water to nature and communities as it uses. But it's not just about plastic and water. Coca-Cola is also working on reducing its carbon footprint. From transitioning to renewable energy sources to making its supply chain more efficient, the company is taking steps to mitigate its impact on the planet. So, as you enjoy that fizzy delight, know that the company behind it is striving to become more environmentally responsible. It's an example of how consumer demand can drive positive change in the corporate world. And there you have it, folks. The disturbing history of Coca-Cola. From its humble beginnings with cocaine-infused drinks to the global phenomenon it is today. This fizzy beverage has a story as effervescent as its bubbles. So. The next time you crack open a can of Coke, remember the journey it's taken to reach your hands. Thanks for joining us on this deep dive into the world of cola. If you like this video, click the next one shown on the screen. I'm sure you'll like it.